a while I had been just singing standards and um, singing covers and I started trying to write music and I wrote quite a few things, not a lot, but that I threw out. And the first thing that really stuck and that I really started to sing was this song that I wrote that was called Woman Child. And um, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of autobiographical. It's, it's about me, but um, a lot of times you, you write something and it turns into something else and it kind of became kind of my vision of, of, of art and, and what I like in art. Um, to have the woman, the adult aspect, and the child aspect, which are two things that I think you kind of juggle and play with all your life um, if, you're, if you're wise enough to embrace that. You show your sympathy to every bird and bee. I used to read a little bit of, you know, Taoism stuff and, and um, they talk about viewing life as a newborn would, would view life and, and experiencing everything in a very new way and with no kind of trying to not have any prejudices to experiences and things that we see. And um, I think that's part of, of, of what I admire in a lot, of, a lot of the great artists that have influenced me. Like Monk, um, he had um, this kind of very rough, very serious, very um, intellectual aspect to his music, but also this very kind of childlike and humorous and, and funny aspect to his music. And, and he's one of my greatest influences and, and one of the artists that I most admire. I listened to a lot of singers growing up and, and all the really wonderful um, wonderful singers like Sarah Vaughan and Billie Holiday and Dinah Washington, but um, I do remember Monk being right in there, which is kind of odd because not a lot of people um, who aren't used to that music gravitate towards it, so it, it was a huge influence for me, and he does have those two aspects. I don't really seek perfection when I go see a performance or when I listen to a musician or experience any kind of artist's work. I don't seek that. What I seek is impact and, and something that will really do something to me. But if it, if it is imperfect, which is inevitably the case because nothing is ever perfect, um, when those imperfections are kind of put on a pedestal and, and kind of um, cherished in a way, I think that actually brings interesting things to the artwork that maybe weren't thought of or weren't, you know, expected. And sometimes it brings kind of a humanity to the work. I think there are the, the two compositions of mine hold a special meaning because I wrote them and um, I tweaked them and I lived with them for a long time and then waited until they were really um, something that I was happy with. I would say, yeah, my two compositions, so Woman Child and uh, Deep Dark Blue are both songs that I really connect with, but all the songs to me are, are very important to me. And, and I've taken, I, I usually take a lot of time to select repertoire and um, kind of narrow it down, so everything kind of has a very important place uh, for me. Well, when I sing, I I don't really think too much. I kind of try to get into the story of the song and, and take it from there, uh, especially when I'm performing or recording. Um, when I'm working at home or, or trying out the material, learning the songs, that's when I kind of think about what I'm doing and try to figure out things. But then when I get into that moment where I have to just sing, I just kind of let go of everything and just go. Mm -hmm.